For today's video, I'm going to be working on ideas for large bathroom mirrors. And the very first design that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to be using wooden boards. These are light boards that I got from IKEA photo frames. I'm going to take off the hooks, measure it and cut it down to size. You can use long, thin wood for this, like maybe plywood, but I decided to just use these because I already have these at home. I didn't have enough of the frame boards, so I'm gonna be adding a different board that's slightly thicker, but it won't be noticeable. All I'm going to be doing now is making a frame pattern with these pieces. The first design is going to be a tufted design, so this is what I have. I'm going to cover it up with one inch foam and then make points where I want a tuft to be and then carve out holes where those points are and then put a fabric over it. This is a vinyl, white vinyl that I'm going to be using over this. All I'm going to be doing now is locating where the points are and stapling them down. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done, I folded the excess fabric at the back and stippled it down. Someone made this request actually and she has a large mirror that's almost as big as the one found in apartment bathrooms. So I am going to be using this design in my bathroom and mounting it there just for illustration purposes only so you guys can see what it's going to look like and helping her out as well because she wants something to put over the mirror that she has in her hallway. These are the crystal buttons that I used and I got them from Joanne Fabrics. I'll be mounting this on the mirror with the mounting tape and I got this from Target. You can also get it from Walmart. This is the mirror that I'm going to be covering and I made sure to clean the frame and the mirror as well before attaching anything to it. Now moving on to the second sign, I'm going to be starting off with foam boards and I want to let you guys know that this is a DIY project that I made some years ago and I would like to share with those of you who have not seen this idea before. Now all I'm doing is cutting the foam board down to size and then to the measurements that I have in the bathroom and you can also use wood for this. I just used foam boards at that time because I preferred foam boards. These are paint palettes that I got from the Dollar Tree and all I'm going to be doing is removing them from the pack and spray painting them silver and attaching them to the foam boards. I added some embellishments like gems that I got from Walmart, the small and large gems, and I also used silver plastic spoons and added them to the design.
I used adhesive tabs that I had at that time to mount what I just made to the mirror. I covered the bottom part here with Mod Podge because it's closer to the sink area. Another quick and easy design is to use peel and stick floor tiles. Now this idea was super easy to make because all I had to do was measure out the middle part, cut it into two because it's really, really large to use it as a frame as it is. It already has an adhesive backing. So after cutting it, I arranged it on the floor and how I want it to look like before I then mounted the pieces up on the frame of my bathroom mirror. As I was doing this, I noticed that each of the pieces are the same. So the middle part was not really hard to find. So as I went on, I didn't really mark anything because I already have a straight line to follow right here. You should know that if your frame of the mirror that you have in your bathroom is not flat, the tiles are going to fall off. They need to be on something really flat. So if your frame is not as flat, you would have to have the pieces attached to a flat wooden board before then attaching it on to the frame of your mirror in the bathroom. For the next design, I'm going to be cutting foam boards to size. And all the measurements that I'm using for this project and my design are between 4 inches and 5 inches. Now I'm using a measurement of 5 inches. I cut the foam board pieces according to the measurements of the mirror that I have in my bathroom. So now I'm going to be covering these pieces with marble contact paper. I'll be making 4 to 5 degree cuts at the corners. This is very light in weight, so I'm going to be mounting it with this. To make this last longer, if you want to use it in the bathroom, it has to be covered with a protective sealant. You can give it two coats of polyurethane inside and out, making sure that the first coat is properly dry before applying the second coat, and this is to protect it from water. Now, to make it a lot easier for you, you can just cover your marble contact paper on thin plywood and you're done. For the fifth design, if you don't mind spending a few extra bucks, you can adorn your bathroom mirror with crown molding. I'm going to measure and cut down the crown molding to size. 
When I was done, I cut it down to size. This cutting tool would have been used for the project because it's used for cutting trims at different angles. I will leave a link for this down in the description box below. It is perfect for smaller trims. What I have is something much wider so I couldn't use the cutting tool. But I'll be making 45 degree cuts at all the four corners with a regular saw. The back of most crown moldings come with powdery residue that will not be able to stick on anything even if you use the strongest adhesive. And this is a rental apartment so what I'm going to do is attach a wooden board, a flat thin wooden board at the back with tack nails and a hammer. That way I'm going to have a workable smooth surface that would be easy for me to mount it on the mirror with a mounting tape. I took it out and then I spray painted it gold. The corners can be covered up with either fillers, a caulk gun, or even hot glue, and then you paint over it. I'm gonna be mounting it with this mounting tape because this is extremely light in weight. I'll advise to cover up the bottom part with a sealant like a polyurethane to protect it from water. I would like to add extra mirrors to what I already have and this is because I would like to see my face a lot closer every time I look into the mirror. So these are the measurements of the mirror that I'll be using and then I'm also going to be using canvases that I got from Walmart. These are thick canvases that I'm going to attach to the back of the mirror using a very strong adhesive because the mirror is kind of heavy. I put a heavy weight on top and left it overnight to dry. The next day I decided to add LED lights at the back. Because the canvases that I use is kind of wide, this battery pack is going to be left like this so that it's easy for me to stretch my hands and take it out to change the batteries when it's needed. This is the adhesive tape that I'll be using at the back to attach it to the mirror. And these adhesive tapes are really, really strong. I will leave a link for this down in the description box below, but you can also use command strips for this. When I attached the adhesive tape, I later realized that it would be better to cut off a little bit of the canvas fabric before attaching the adhesive tape to keep it properly flush to the mirror. To make sure that the adhesive tape holds firmly to the mirror, I cleaned it down and then I used tape as my guide before mounting the mirror. I'll be making cuts right here to make sure that I don't have any opening when I'm done. I cut some more because I will be needing them to decorate a mirror. I had one of the tiles mistakenly open, so I'm going to be using the sticky tabs to cover the part up. I attached this on top of another existing larger mirror in the bathroom. So there you have it! Quick and easy ways to update your large bathroom mirror in a rental. 
I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.